raw veganism has been getting pretty popular over the last couple of years. When I first sort of heard about it, I got pretty confused about... <clears throat> I mean, I was kind of following people that were doing more fruitarianism. I think I got the two a bit mixed up, and when I'd hear people talking about raw vegan, I'd sort of think it was the same thing, but really, I'd say that what, what most people are talking about is, I guess what you'd call gourmet raw vegan, where they're making like a lot of meals, com complex meals, and kind of consisting of like a lot more vegetables, like raw vegetables and stuff. I don't really see that as so so much ideal for digestion and everything. And I guess you're not really getting as much nutrients as if you were to eat like, you know, just, just carbs, you know, just like cooked potatoes and stuff like that. It's a step in the right direction, you know, eating, first of all, eating vegan food, especially if you're eating like whole foods, I think that's the main thing. And then obviously raw food, well when we're talking about like raw fruit and tender vegetables of course, which is more on the fruitarian side of it, it's uh, definitely if you've got like the right kind of fruits and vegetables, if it's really ripe and ready to go then that's, you pretty much can't get any better than that. So I mean I haven't really experimented with it too much the gourmet raw vegan side, but uh, I just can't see too much appeal of, you know, doing that as a whole lifestyle, like eating raw vegetables that you shouldn't really be eating raw, like even just cauliflower or something like that. You know, even broccoli, if I don't cook it, if I cook it quite al dente, then even that can give me pretty bad digestion and gas and so on. So yeah, if you're interested, if you're doing like raw vegan, uh, gourmet raw vegan, and you're interested in this fruitarian idea, then yeah, definitely look up and, you know, you want to eat things like things high in carbohydrates, so sugar, so sweet, ripe fruits, basically. Like more on the tropical side, bananas is pretty much a staple. You've got like mangoes and papaya, pretty much the best examples right there. Mono meals, instead of all this, all these complex meals. I mean, sure, it's it's fun to do that every now and then, definitely, in special occasions and stuff. But you know, it's actually a lot less hassle to just eat loads of bananas on their own than. Try and make some complex thing for every meal. See you later.